from thousands of ideas across the country. The journey of Samsung Solve for tomorrow 2025 now arrives at its big stage, the National Pitch Event. For the first time, finalists face the jury on stage, taking on tough questions and proving their ideas across key themes. So let's meet the jury and hear their first reactions. The pitches were quite diverse and they really did cover a wide variety of problems and solutions. Actually two words, uh, one would be really inspiring, uh, the second one would be groundbreaking. One word to describe the pitches, impactful. I can describe it in two words, very promising and inspiring. Oh, don't even ask me this question. It was incredibly tough. Each and every pitch was full of passion and purpose and potential, so it was a pretty tough call for us. Oh, it was a very difficult process for me to select one of them. I wish I had a chance to select all of them for the next process. It's never easy, but at the end of the day, you got to you know, drive that slim margin between one team and the other, and that is what I think divides a winner from the rest. The vision of Young India that came through pitches is international impact, widespread reach and youth empowerment. Their ideas were very inclusive in nature. They were not just following the trends, they were presenting. They have envisioned the idea which will touch the lives of Indian cities, village and everybody's life. Good idea involves the technology and different components of technology. But if it has to be a game-changing idea in Indian context, the cost has to be significantly brought down. I would say any idea that reaches out to the last mile of the society, that would be a great idea. Innovation and technology is one thing, but yes, how you will you know, scale your idea using innovation and tech as a platform, is a real game changer. Scalability of the problem and how easily it can be scaled to masses, that makes the difference between a good idea and a game changing idea for me. One thing which I like to tell to all the young participants are, don't give up. This is just the beginning. You have already got a chance to come and do it. Align your stakeholders. Consider the scalability of your solution and automatically things will fall in place. Look into the real problem and be more uh, you know, empathetic towards everyone. Please focus on how well your product is different from others and what is a moat for your idea. It's just the beginning, keep going and all the best. The event was also attended by Solve for Tomorrow alumni who came back to cheer on and support the next wave of innovators. I was just completely hit by the nostalgia and like the secondhand anxiety and stress. The solvers of 2025 have been really enthusiastic about their journeys, have been really enthusiastic about their problems and their solutions. My advice to the semi-finalists here would be to practice their pitch as much as they can because in the end that's all the judges are going to look at and that's what they're going to know you by the basis of. 